Hey, buddy, it's Sophie and Marco. Dish out on the movies. Uh, today, we are doing something different. Not a movie, but we are going to review the very first episode of the new Chucky series. What's it called, Sophie? It's called Death by Miss... No, the show is called Chucky. The I... show is Chucky, and the episode is Death by Misadventure. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> well, uh, you, wow, the whole show. I'm not sure how much we should reveal. It's new everything. and something. Well, I. Nothing, everything, whatever you want. Okay, so. Know. You go I'm, ahead, I'm Marco. Gonna, you start it off. I'm a better reviewer, so I'll start it off. Oh, my God. <laughs> so. I thought this was a pretty good episode of TV. I don't think it's as good as the people who loved it say it is. And I don't think it's bad either. I just think it, it's pretty good. It, it started off on a pretty good note, which it, it sort of was like a hopeful note because it, it was like, oh, finally we get to see real Chucky instead of a shitty robot Chucky and uh, played by Mark Hamill. Uh, and so I thought that the episode, it was a dark story, which is something that made Safi biased against it because she's biased towards anything that isn't like rainbow and sunshine, like Hallmark movies. Oh, for heaven's sakes. And there's also can be an overdose of dark too. Well, it's, it's, it's to, it's, it's so that it's setting things up. Because then you'll want to see Chucky kill all these pieces of shit. Uh, so it's like a purposeful thing. Uh. So that you can root for Chucky a little bit. and, and But then you'll your perspective will get switched again or something. Uh, but th there were only a couple of things that I didn't like. But I'll just talk about the stuff that I liked first. So that I don't come off like I usually do. Or like Safi always comes off like... I'm bullying Safi a little bit to show the mental effects of bullying. Because mm. that's what the show's all about. It's all about bullying. And let's be honest. We should not bully anyone for being gay. We should bully people... Or anything else. No, we should bully people who like Seed of Chucky. Uh. Or, or the remake with Aubrey Plaza. Uh. You know, the, the people who like those movies should get bullied. And I fully support them getting tossed inside the locker and locked inside there, getting wedgies and getting beaten up. Like, they, they deserve what they get. But then, like, just this... You have this main character, Jake. And I thought he, he was a pretty good character. I thought that he had a couple of moments of bad acting. Like, there was one specific moment where, spoiler alert, he sees his dad got shocked to death. And... He, he has this very confused face. And it's it's like confused in terms of I can't tell at all what he's feeling. Like it, it's like this weird face where it's like, like okay, what what is he feeling? Like it was so weird. And so that was like, he was pretty good though. I, I still liked him obviously because you can sympathize with him. And he's an artist, and he's making these sculptures, which he's making sculptures out of dolls. That's okay. And what's wrong with that? Well, and and there's nothing wrong with that, but they they sort of look like creepy and funny, and so it's it's kind of funny when they when it gets destroyed because it's like yeah that was really creepy. <laughs> it's like what the hell. <laughs> Okay, well, it's very interesting because as a reseller, it's I have seen cool. so many flea markets where they just have the doll's heads and people buy them. Okay, so that isn't that is not unusual uh, to buy a bunch of heads. I've seen it. I've seen people buy them and uh, the they put them in so for Halloween. Crazy. They'll make displays with just the heads. I bet they do. I mean, all, all kinds of stuff. Or they'll get a nice doll that looks nice and they make it into something ugly and creepy and scary by painting it and doing stuff with the eyes and the hair. So, okay, that is not unusual. 
Well, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it, like, in real life. Like, obviously, in real life, I wouldn't want someone's art to get destroyed. But since we know that it's fake and we know that it's a show, it was kind of funny to see that creepy statue get destroyed. No, I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't like it either, but still, it was it was funny a little bit, like in a dark humor type of way. Safi doesn't like dark humor. She no, it has to do with the father being so unsupportive of his son, who is an artist, and he puts together. He's making a a, a sculpture of these different heads, and it was creative. I, I has anybody ever seen the? Uh, on Facebook, there is a site, but you have to join it. It's a members only. It's called Halloween DIY. And these people from all over the country and the world, they do all these projects for Halloween. They'll spend an entire year doing projects. And they're so creative. And that statue, that was art. And it's art is subjective. And his father, this is part of the reason why I don't, I didn't, I, I I gave the episode a C. I know we're gonna supposed to do this at the end. I'll just say it right now. And basically, Marco did too. Uh, no, I it. did not. He Why are you it. speaking for me? Well, it sounded Sophie. like it. Okay, well, I, I was... give this episode an A plus. Okay, well that's good. Good for you. Because th this episode's quality, like th for the past couple of weeks, I've been watching American Horror Story mm. and. Spoiler alert, it's trash overall. Like, the story choices that they make are so odd and so just nonsensical. And so when I saw this Chucky episode, it was like an immediate jump in quality. Like, oh, thank God, finally a show or like a story that actually is good. And it was also more enjoyable than like, the majority of movies that I've seen this year, like new released movies. So I really liked it, and I'm not going to punish it for the the couple minor things that I don't like. Okay, well, the reason why I have kind of a negative attitude about it is because usually in a show like oh, this, no. uh, it's... Give you one chance, Safi. <sighs> Safi insists on not turning her phone off during reviews. Even if I'm like, not looking. Don't put it there. Even if they're like only 10 minutes long or something. And so, well, you're uh, making it longer by talking about it. Well, I'm, t I'm telling the audience why I was saying that. And I just turned it off to make sure that it won't uh, interrupt the review anymore. Okay, well, anyway, I, the reason why I'm upset a little bit about the episode to where I would just give it a C is because... The boy has no support. He is all alone. He doesn't have him. him uh, at least he has. He, he he could have one friend. He has zero friends. He's not an unlikable person. He I has don't... he has the internet. Oh my god! <laughs> and yet you think okay, some people are going to get bullied, and they're making fun of him. They make fun of him for his art, and then some people say he's gay. That's why Marco said that thing about being gay. And I thought, well, they're just saying that because they don't like him and they're just going to say something and that's like one of the meanest things you can say. And no offense to anybody oh, gay who I know, whom I know, and I really upsets me too because if, if, I think about them and how much just, they could have been bullied. If you just call someone gay who isn't gay, like you're, you're, like you're acting really gay, like... That's not that mean of a thing to say. Now, I know, but, but they're all, they're, they, they throw things at him on the bus. Well, they're basically... They boo him. They basically are just using his sexuality as, like, an excuse to bully him. Like, it, it could have been anything. Well, like, I didn't any, even any know little he was thing. gay. I didn't think that, I didn't, wasn't even sure if that was a... The only reason why I know is because he said that. His father was, his father's a horrible person yeah. who doesn't support him. I mean, he, nobody, he has nobody at school. And so you think his family would support him? Well, his mom died. So his father is upset about it. But so he's taking it out on his son. He destroys his art project, which he's been working on for who knows how long. 
and by getting a baseball bat, I think that was, and destroying it. And then uh, he said, I, it sounded, it was so quick. I, I kind of missed it, but it sounded like he said he was gay or something to his father. Father finally had a fit and he threw him up against the wall. And I don't, I think he might've punched him in the face. No, he threatened him, though. No, but, well, remember at the and, end, the police person up. said, He gave him how a did bloody you, nose. Yeah, how did you hurt your face or hurt so, your nose? So I'm upset that he has nobody. Well, nobody, not even one friend who can support him. That's sort of like... And it just, it makes me, and that's why they had that little uh, thing at the end about glad and bullying and about, because... He has Chucky. Chucky's his best friend till the end. Heidi ho! <laughs> and that was another thing. I was afraid, and I just don't know how this is all going to work out. Marco says, well, it's setting up for there's going to be horrible people for him to kill. Yeah, and, you'll and be so th that's why it's good. Because they're so horrible. That's why it's good. Because well, you're going to love it when Chucky kills all these pieces of shit. The problem with that is... Nobody's going to believe that Chucky is an enchanted doll, which I don't know how else to say it. A haunted doll, an enchanted doll, a magic doll, whatever. A thing that can move and talk and kill, but carry a butcher knife with them and get ready to use it at any time. But they're going to blame all that on that kid and he didn't do anything. And that, that's another thing. I just can't, I can't take that. Just drives well, me crazy. Sophie, that's not really having to do with the quality of the show, though. And okay, so well, Marco kind of did want to complain about one thing, but I, I can't really go ahead and say what was the other one. It was a oh. basic thing, remember? Oh yeah, I remember, Sophie. Well, number one, you know what you were telling me. I don't. I like the bi the not the biology the biology teacher. She's she says like fuck to a student and she says she, some other things. Yeah. She does not talk like a teacher at all. Well, you couldn't talk uh, like that without getting in trouble. Teachers no way. are not allowed to talk like no, that. No, they're not. I mean, I know that. Well, okay. No way. Mm -mm. Uh, they got. Well, know, they have a helicopter parent, especially that Lexi person. Yeah. Uh, down there at that school that in little, two seconds flat. That little blonde twat. Marco. Bitch. Let's not talk like that. Well, I mean, okay? she, she was very realistic, and I can't she wait. She was a mean girl to the max. I can't wait to see Chucky, like, stab her a million times. Oh, I don't, I don't want to see that. I just, I, do. I, I liked her getting, uh, what would you call it, uh, embarrassed on stage. That was, that was a good punishment there. But see, she'll think he did that because they all think he's a ventriloquist, which he's not. Oh, so, and you can tell anyways, them about that, too. I, I, I'm going to tell them. Just let me tell them. Okay, go ahead. I'm oh, done. Safi. <sighs> Safi from Safi and Marco Disha. Okay. I didn't like the soundtrack at all. Okay. I mean, I there are these songs where it's like, there was one, and, and it's like this female's voice, and she's like, This is why you become a villain. And... <laughs> It's like this terrible music where it's like this 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 girly music, this trendy modern music that doesn't fit Chucky at all. And it's like, this is why you become a villain. Because you get bullied because you're gay. And you like Aubrey Plaza in the <laughs> remake of Child's Play. And it's like, th this does not fit Chucky at all. And, you know, I really, you know something that really pisses me off about the series is that the Child's Play theme, you know, the theme from the first movie, is probably one of the greatest horror themes of all time. It's way better than the Halloween theme. It's way better than the Nightmare on Elm Street theme. It's way better than the Friday the 13th uh, theme. But somehow, they never make any music that's like that theme anymore. And it's like, why? That theme is, like, better than any of the music in any of the sequels plus this combined. And so I was really hoping that they would take that theme and then have music that was like that. Music that resembled that theme. That infamous theme. 
That theme is a, a really good theme. So that really pissed me off. I hated the music. It was so trendy. And, and, and the singers of that those songs should get bullied too. Because those songs were terrible. I mean, uh, if I could find those songs, that will be a dislike for me. A thumbs down for me of those trash songs. Nobody wanted those songs in this Chucky series. Uh, so that's a, a big complaint for me. But overall, I would say the things that I did like, I really <coughs> liked the dad. And I, the dad is actually, I mean, I liked the actor because he's actually playing him and his brother. So he played two characters in this episode. And I thought that that was really cool. Yeah, it takes a lot of skill. He, you know, he was playing two very distinct characters. And it was really cool to see that. And I thought that that was one of the highlights of the episode. And then uh, something else is that this is basically Goosebumps. I mean, forget about Child's Play. This, this is a lot like Goosebumps. Because there is a scene in this episode where it's a really fantastic scene, too. Where the uh, Jake, he's in the auditorium and everyone's teasing him about being gay and how he likes Devin. And, and, he's, and he's just sitting there like, oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and then Chucky's right behind him and he says some smart line and then he says, take me up on stage. And he takes him up on stage and he does this whole stand-up routine where he basically destroys the entire school. Uh, like he roasts all of them. And that was a fantastic scene. You know why? Because that is a scene that is almost straight out of Night of the Living Dummy, the Goosebumps book. And I've, I've read that this year. And so it was good that I read that. Safi! Uh, because that scene is literally in the book where the, the main girl, she is on stage with Mr. Wood. And Mr. Wood roasts everyone and then pukes all over them. And, and, and it's like this green goo. It smells like rotten meat. And uh, so they literally adapted a scene straight out of Night of the Living Dummy. And it's like, wow, that's really embarrassing. Those those idiots who make the the goosebumps they have not made a faithful adaptation of that scene that iconic scene uh, the child's play just did i mean how is it that the thing that i mean that's so embarrassing that the chucky did that scene before goosebumps ever did that scene like they just destroyed goosebumps permanently that's how uh, See, this is why Goosebumps... Goosebumps needs to be uh, taken over by someone who knows what to do. Because that's just ridiculous. This whole episode, too... This reminded me of Goosebumps. This was like Goosebumps with Chucky in it. And I loved it. I give it an A+. And I'm really excited to see Chucky kill all the bitches. Especially the mean girl, Lexi. Because she deserves it the most. Let's be honest, Safi. Out of all the people, if you could just choose one person to die, besides the dad, he would be the number one person. I mean, it's it's good. He's gone. Uh, but who, who would the number one person be who you would say, yeah, I hope Chucky kills that person? I'm not into that. The mean girl. Exactly. Yeah, she's really very bad. But it was probably easy to play. Isn't it easy to play a part oh. like that? That's mean, Be mean Sophie. and awful. Why are you bullying that actress? Oh, I think it's a be easy to be play that kind of part because because that's what she's really like. God, no, Sophie. I didn't say that at all. I said that it's because it's probably <laughs> fun to do. So I'm really excited to see the rest of the season. I'm gonna enjoy it and and just like not be too critical about it unless there's things that really stick out like the. The soundtrack because uh, well, other than that i really enjoyed it so okay well uh for as far as i'm concerned i the soundtrack was very unnotable i don't remember it at all <laughs> so if i don't you know i can't sp uh, speak specifically to the words or whatever they were singing but it must have not been good because i just didn't even remember it so and you know 
if, think about some of the really good horror movies that you've seen. Jaws, which is not really a horror, but That's it can be. Horror. Still, the music is iconic. Psycho, it's the music is iconic. No, you know what they should have played in Psycho? They should have had like a woman singing. This is why Norman Bates became a villain because he was abused and then he dressed up like his mom and killed people. Like that's what we all needed. We did not need we did not need that iconic theme of e e e e e we needed a song like that where it's like a woman singing lyrics that are obviously what's happening and on screen. Marco is being facetious, yeah. which means he's bullshitting. Yeah, I, I okay? think people will figure that out if they... I don't know if they could. And The Exorcist, that music, is iconic. And uh, I don't know what else, but uh, right off the... Well, Halloween, that music is iconic. So, seems like... Some of the best uh, scary things that you see on TV are associated with good music to and to go with it. And that music must be so unnotable, I don't even remember it. And Marco paid attention enough to say it was crap. And I can't wait so. to see Chucky's childhood, too. Yes, because... that, well, I don't know if they know that or not. At the very end, they show the scene. You think this woman's going to get killed. And then I guess he's figured out that it's going to be Chucky's. Yeah, because she calls him Charles, and they have a picture in the newspaper earlier in the episode where they show the picture of them, and then I saw it on IMDb too. So I'm really excited to see his childhood as well. Uh, I hope that that'll be pretty good, because I was kind of worried about that at first, like showing his origin. I kind of thought, like, this this could be really bad if it's not done right, but it looks like it could be pretty good. So, 